Hey everyone, Danamite underscore 41 here. I like to speak my opinions and nothing I say is or ever will be financial advice. Take everything I say with a grain of salt. Just simply take it as me being entitled to my opinion. So let's talk about BlackRock buying into GameStop. But first, let's see who BlackRock is exactly. BlackRock Incorporation is an American multinational investment company. It's the world's largest asset manager with $9.42 trillion in assets as of June 30th, 2023. So they basically, you know, <laughs> manage trillions of dollars in assets. So BlackRock's big. They own a little bit of everything. And they've recently increased their owning or their ownership in GameStop to 22.5 million shares. And if you look at it on the chart, about, uh, uh, I believe, two days before the sneeze. And thank you for the informational video, by the way, Marantz. I'm just relaying it over to my channel now. So two days before the sneeze, it was about, um, they sold, they had about 9.2 million shares and basically sold them off and they ended up having uh, um, 4.7 million shares on September the 9th, 2021. That's what they were currently holding at that time. And then as time went on to 2022, on February the 1st, they had 5.1 million shares. So basically they increased their uh, share count by about 400 million shares, give or take. And then as time went by, uh, as we fast forward to 2023, on February the 3rd, they now hold 21.9 million shares. So let's go with 22 million shares that they own uh, around that time frame. I mean, well, <laughs> let me hold my horses really quick and let's fast forward over to yesterday, which is pretty much um, today's time. On the 26th, which was yesterday, the on 2024, they now hold 22.5 million shares. Now, what am I thinking of all of this? I'm thinking something is up. They know what's up. They know what's cooking up when it comes to GameStop's turnaround. In my personal opinion, I believe they're preparing for what's to come. And I believe that it's upward price movement. Now, I'm not saying it'll be immediate for the stock chart, but all I'm saying is that BlackRock is buying into something that they know that has value that is yet to come, or at least to relay over to the stock chart and be priced in. So am I bullish on this? Yes, I am absolutely bullish on BlackRock increasing their ownership into GameStop. And honestly, the fact that Ryan Cohen has a zero dollar salary, but rather buys into his own company, I mean, come on, uh, the insiders alone plus Ryan Cohen own about, let's see, my mouth, uh, it's about 18% of GameStop and DRS into their own names, so away from the DTCC. And then individuals, us retail investors, allegedly own 25% of the flow, allegedly. I, in my opinion, think we own more of it, but I could be totally wrong. And then, you know, these guys over here, of course, own their shares. So basically um, what's remaining is 27% of the flow, 81 million shares. Now, I think it's just crazy how BlackRock increased their ownership over the time being. And it's just telling me that they're bullish and they're playing. Uh, of course, they're going to play both sides of the game. And, you know, all this lending share stuff, whatever. I'm not too familiar with it, but I've heard about it. But... I'm still pretty bullish on it because they've been accumulating over this whole time because, I mean, do they think that the price is going to go up? Do they think that the company of GameStop is going to be profitable in the future considering the fact that they've been closing stores that had less foot traffic, leases were up on them, they have a small loan, so essentially they have no freaking debt because they have about like $1.3 billion in cash equivalent, cash, cash equivalents marketable securities and they're just doing well with that and we have a whole freaking army of retail investors behind the company buying shares buying products at the stores and ryan cohen is just that guy and he's has a track record of you know basically doing well as far as like chewy goes as far as his apple investment goes and now it's going to be his gamestop investment too but now blackrock is buying in as well Something is cooking up behind the scenes. I don't know what's going to happen next. I'm very super excited to even be invested into this company. I hope y'all are as excited as I am for what's to come for this company. I am looking forward to March like so much, so much. And I'm going to keep accumulating even if we run up. Like I said, I buy a share a day. 
It doesn't matter where the price is at. I'm literally going to buy a share a day because I know what the value of this company is and I know what I'm holding and it's it's just like, it's a crazy ride and it's been a long couple years, but the time is gonna come soon. We don't know when exactly that time will come. Maybe in March, maybe we're gonna start profiting from here on out and then we're gonna blow short sellers out of the water. Or we continue to accumulate for a while. I'm fine with either situation because at the end of the day, as long as the fundamentals are right, as long as insiders are still on, in on it, as long as we're, uh, well, we've already cut out all the bad apples and we lowered the liabilities and uh, basically the cost to run business and we've been increasing the profit margins along the way as well. So I feel really good about this investment. I feel really good about BlackRock buying into this and I'm just super excited about it and y'all should be too. If you have any opinions or have any thoughts or have any questions in regards to what I said or maybe I said something wrong, feel free to leave that in the comments. And I hope y'all have a great weekend. This definitely made my night for sure, just looking at it. I know I'm a little late on reporting the news for it, but this is awesome. This is super awesome. But anyways, <laughs> I suck at saying bye. Y'all have a great rest of the weekend, and I will be seeing y'all soon. Peace out.